distant marriage cost me a lot of things. In fact, you your nail will turn to patient. What's up, fam? Welcome back. It's your girl Amara. I know you guys already know my name, but for those that are coming to my channel for the first time, welcome to the family. Please do well to join us by subscribing to my channel, like the video, and drop a comment turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post new content and also for my returning subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so much for sticking with me and always coming back to watch my videos i love you guys so today you all already know what this video is about from the title box this is how it is i am a dependent here in Saudi Arabia and I get a lot of questions from people from my story and from my status most of the time what do I really mean by a dependent okay here is what it means so when you're applying your visa to come to Saudi Arabia either as a visitor or a resident okay it will be written boldly on the front page of your visa not permitted to work this means that you as a dependent is not allowed to work that's the word the person that is allowed to work is either your spouse or your husband your wife or whoever you're coming to visit all right or you're coming to stay with to live with is the only person allowed to work so i hope that that is understood now and now i'm coming to my own end guys it is challenging especially when you have children life has definitely not been the same for me but then i'm grateful to god that it has brought so much exposure to me you know inwards and outwards what do i mean by that like personal growth and otherwise honestly i have learned a lot in this past one year that we've been here and I, it's something I'm really grateful for. But originally, I am not someone that likes to stay at a place. I don't, I don't like the idea of being a, a housewife. Okay, that's what I have always known this to be. But then again, the things I have learned so far, guys, it's good. It's good to decide one morning and say, I don't want to work. I just want to take care of the home and build my home and be my home builder or what have you but then there are people that don't want to do just that you know but guys it has been quite a ride for me and i honestly don't want to dwell in the challenging parts it, it comes with a lot of challenges okay but then <laughs> one thing you have to know is before you start thinking of coming to saudi arabia as a dependent you have to build your mental health you have to make sure you are meant you you accept this role as not just the wife not just the mother but then yourself do you understand the role of being yourself is something that most people don't ever think of or even have any idea of how to go about that honestly i have learned a lot about myself about my children and about my husband in this same one year this just one year and mind you, this is my first time of spending a whole year together with my husband. I mean, it's totally different. I don't know. Distance marriage cost me a lot of things that I don't know if I will have the courage to speak about it one day. It's something that would encourage someone out there. And it's also something that you learn from. Okay. But then again, I, I like the world I'm living in now. I'm grateful to God for this privilege. So there was the time I mentioned I was going to tell a story of why I started homeschooling. And I'm, I'm going to be attaching the link of that video in the description so you can go back to it and see, you know, the background of this whole story I'm telling today. Okay, then come back to this one to understand better. All right. It got to a point that I had to go as far as studying and like getting more skills just so I enhance my teaching skills. Listen, I never thought of being a teacher. I've never dreamt of being a teacher, but honestly, ever since we moved here, I have 
just been so many things at the same time while at that i still try as much as possible to get other skills so it's it's a waiting time for me i think it's a waiting time for me and at the same time it's a growing stage for me because while i'm in this waiting time i'm also growing so being a dependent in saudi arabia is actually it's either you take advantage of the opportunity because i even call it opportunity it's either you take the advantage or and make good use of it or you might lose yourself entirely because sometimes i used to wonder what if i'm not doing something what if i don't have you know other things i am doing what if i don't have any idea of anything to do honestly what would i have been doing what would have become of me <laughs> so yeah that's basically it so if you're someone who is thinking or have planning to come here know this these are the things you should know before coming to saudi arabia as a dependent you must um accept the fact that life would generally be different especially if you have children so you have to start you know channeling your energy your channeling yourself your inner mind your inner self to do something more challenging because i think when we see ourselves in situations that feels like it's drawing us back and we're supposed to you know see it as a good thing but instead we're seeing it as a setback or a bad thing in my own case it has it has been a bumpy ride for me but gradually and with time it's actually settling like i'm understanding why it has to be this way because i didn't have plans of having this type of like being a stay-home mom <laughs> i never even knew what that looks like or what that even felt like up until now okay so if you're like me and you don't like to stay at a place like you don't like anything that has to do with staying indoors and not doing anything please and you have plans to come to saudi arabia you have to have strong mind Ubunge mind because <laughs> it will be as if the world has left you but then i want to encourage you to even if you don't have a child yet like find something you can do for yourself you can search for courses online to study with this time don't just while away your time okay i remember in 2019 when sorry 2018 when we visit when i visited rather it was it wasn't like this okay i was thinking it was cool like you know just stay indoors netflix and chill you know like going to social medias knowing what's up and all that use that time to you know um develop yourself you know focus on your self-development and also pay attention to what is happening in your home or in yourself in your life okay generally do you know it was this challenging i used to think it's just stop I just stayed for six months stay not do anything in fact the story was different this time around like totally different now i have children as at that time i didn't have no kids like no child i had not given birth life was cool breezy easy fizzy i was enjoying life i was enjoying life going out you know anywhere i want to go to but now it takes a lot of patience. In fact, you your nail will turn to patience. Do you understand? Like you have to literally find so many things that can keep you alive, so many things that can keep you busy. So you don't just lose yourself in the middle of this whole thing. Yeah. So I encourage you to do something for yourself, keep yourself busy and see the positive side of it. Of being a stay home mom and mind you you're doing amazingly well you're doing awesomely well you are a queen and you're beautiful and you're enough what you're doing is mind-blowing and I love you so much warm hugs from here <laughs> all the mamas in the house <laughs> okay I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up and also drop a comment down below okay See you guys in my next video. Bye.